At around 140 US dollars, this watch makes the high-end luxury quartz watches look like a ripoff. But don't get me wrong here, I'm not throwing mud against high-end quartz watches, and you will see why. Hi everyone! My name is Ed and welcome back to Riz Saga, a channel about affordable watches. Today I decided to talk about the best alternative for a high-end Japanese watch like Grand Seiko. Seiko is well known for their mechanical watches and for the year 1969 when they released the first quartz powered watch that started the quartz crisis in Switzerland and that made all watch manufacturers from that period to lose customers because of the astonishing quartz accuracy. Nowadays most watch brands have at least one model using a quartz movement. Seiko is one example and they continue the history that they started in 1969. They even use quartz movements in their high-end watches like Grand Seiko SBGX261. But looking at the price of it, I don't see a lot of people having the courage to spend almost 3 grand on a quartz watch. Myself included here. I really wanted one, but a quartz watch for this price? Really? So, I kept looking for alternatives and I found the best Grand Seiko looking quartz watch from Seiko. The model SUR319P1, model that not only that looks like the Grand Seiko SBGX261, but also gives you a great value for the money. This watch features a 36mm case, 18mm lug width, 8.6mm case thickness, unsigned crown that doesn't feature the screw down capability. The crystal material is a sapphire as stated on the case back, making it able to stay unscratched longer than the movement will ever be able to run. The case back is a screw down type featuring a water resistance of 100 meters making it suitable for swimming and water activities. I wouldn't suggest taking this watch with you while diving, but except for that moment, can be used in any other water activity situation. Seeing the watch from another perspective, the curvature of the case can't be unnoticed. This helps hugging the wrist in such a way that makes the watch amazingly comfortable. The watch comes with a solid stainless steel links bracelet that uses a quite rare type of pins. The clasp is a folded clasp, not the greatest, but gets the job done. The only drawback here are the micro adjustments that are only two, making it quite difficult to adjust the watch properly on your wrist in certain situations and certain wrist sizes. It is a fact that this watch is suitable for smaller wrists. For me, the bracelet was not my cup of tea, so I decided to swap the bracelet for some nice leather straps. Links in the description of this video. Now, let's talk about the dial that creates all the confusion with the Grand Seiko. When used in very bright conditions, the dial becomes the star of the show, having a high reflection polish, while in other lighting conditions it shows a subtle sunburst. The dolphin hands and the indices are not highly polished, like on a Grand Seiko, 
nor they have Zerazzo polishing. But they are reflective, and who has that vision to tell exactly if they are Zerazzo polished or not? During the night, Seiko thought that adding a tiny bit of loom on the hands and right above the indices would be a great idea. And it is. It's not the best loom like the one from Seiko 5 models, but it works and it saves you from taking your watch out of your pocket while checking the time on a movie theater or an opera concert. The Seiko SUR319P1 features a day display framed by a chrome square. Not only that it makes suitable for dressier situations, but also for everyday situations where a date function is quite a nice feature making you avoid taking your smartphone out of your pocket for getting such information. One feature that I've rarely seen on a quartz watch is the anti-magnetic sign printed on the case back. The caliber is a 6N52 model, a reliable quartz movement used by Seiko and many other entry-level watches that they manufacture. Don't take the word entry-level too serious. This doesn't mean that it is a cheap movement. It may be cheap to manufacture, but it's not cheap. On my watch, in terms of accuracy, it even outperforms from that stated plus minus 20 seconds per month to plus 2 seconds per month. At this point, I might have convinced you to buy it, right? So, is this the right watch for you in the situation that you would consider spending all your savings on a quartz Grand Seiko? I would say yes. For a person that wants a high-end feel for 140 US dollars quartz watch, this watch is the best choice. Being a quartz watch, this 36mm timepiece only needs a battery change from time to time, not a full service. Whether you need a watch for your EDC or for special occasions, this Seiko is the best investment for your time. If you agree with me, write your thoughts about it in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye!